This is Jack from No Code MBA. Now, today we're going to talk about Glide, and more specifically, three business ideas that you can create using this No Code App Builder. Now, Glide is one of our favorite platforms at the moment, one of our favorite No Code tools. And we love it because it's easy to use. You can have templates, drag and drop builders, and it's powered by a spreadsheet. So we love this as a way to create apps. And like I said, what we're going to do is look at three business ideas that you can build using this tool. Now, if you want to learn more about how to use this tool, know that we do have a course on this and it's going to go through the different ways that you can build various apps using this no code tool in a step-by-step -step way. And if you're wanting something else as well, then definitely go to our website and get the guide to no code tools. All right, let's look at the first business idea. Now, the first idea is a custom app for real estate agents. So real estate agents love to be able to show the listings that they have at the moment and to use this using data, okay? So using spreadsheets. So what you can do is you can use Glide to build this app. And it's for real estate agents, as it says here, to highlight their showings. Now, like I said before, we have a course specifically on this, build an app like Zillow and Glide, where we go through this step by step. And this is part of our Glide course. But just to go back to the business idea, the way you can get and retain users is to send cold emails to real estate agents offering a custom app. Now, it might not be a cold email either. It could be more of a warmer hot bleed because once you start networking in your local area and know people, then you'll be able to do this more easily because that person is already going to know you. But if you don't know anybody, don't know any real estate agents, then this will work as well to send cold emails to real estate agents. Now you can also get other agents to refer you to them once you've built that first app. So in other words, you're incentivizing them to refer you to someone else by offering referral bonuses. Now to monetize it, you can charge real estate agents an annual fee. For example, $500 a year could be much more than this as well to access their own custom app. You can also do it in a way where you build it for them as more of an upfront fee, and then you can maintain it moving forward. And I just wanted to share this as well because Jesus Vargas um, has actually done this as well. And this is part of our interviews with successful no-code builders. And they did this through a property rental app, um, a vacation rental company. And I'll leave a link to this because there's an interesting part here, the process of doing it, where the idea came from. But I'll leave a link to this case study in the description. The first one we wanted to share was a custom app for real estate agents. Now, the next idea is to build a help desk software for businesses. Okay, so all businesses need this kind of help desk support system. Now, there are bigger versions here, such as Zendesk. Uh, it's an example of a large company in this space. But the idea here is to build a SaaS platform that allows businesses to easily create and host a help desk knowledge base for customers. Now, this is something that we've mentioned here. You can build the minimal viable product in Glide and then take that to Bubble. So this is able to be done in Glide and also in Bubble. But we like Glide to start with because it's simple to get started and it gives you a good idea about what it's going to look like moving forward once you want to put this into Bubble or a different kind of tool. But once you've got the idea and you've got the minimal viable product, what you can do is send cold emails again, like we mentioned before, warm emails as well to businesses that you already know. And then you can also do content marketing. Now this is the longer term play and we've talked about content marketing various times on this YouTube channel. But since you're selling to businesses, what you need to do is to write content about managing customer service. So you can think about writing 50 articles over a period of time, put them on your blog, put them on your YouTube channel, put them on social media um, in different formats. But what you're doing is you're using content marketing to show that you know about this area. And then once you get people to come and view the content, then you are then saying, hey, I can build this for you. Let me show you how. Sign up for a free call. And that's all about using the right type of landing page and opt-in boxes on your website. And then to monetize it, you can charge a monthly fee to use the software. So again, people are using the software and they can do it using a monthly fee. And the third one is to sell a restaurant reservation app to restaurants. 
And the idea here is to sell a simple reservation system to restaurants to help them bring their business online. Now, just to go down here first, this is the important point because who's doing it profitably? Lots of large businesses offer this service. So Open Table is obviously the main one here. We can charge less if you're looking to build a smaller profitable business. And you can also think about niching down as well. So I've seen in, in different areas for takeout apps, for example, there are local takeout apps where people want to use local businesses. And you can do this again. So there might be in your city, you can create a specific type of app for the restaurants, reservations that they want to use. You can also do it where you do it for specific restaurants. So when they go into their own website or their own app, then they can reserve through that app as well. Now, in order to get and retain users, send code emails to restaurants, um, walk into restaurants and pitch them to your service. And again, it's all about um, getting to know people in the restaurant business. And if you have that experience, that's going to help a lot. Or you can team up with somebody who has that experience too. We have a course on this as well. Build a restaurant reservation app in Glide. Build a fully functioning restaurant reservation app using Glide. So we go through this step-by-step -step on how to do it. And I just need to say as well, with some of these business ideas, you might not want to fully go into it. And if that's if you don't want to do the whole business, that's fine. But if you want to learn how to use these tools, then you can follow this step-by-step -step instruction and then you'll get to know Glide a lot better. So this is good practice if you want to improve your no-coding skills. So those are the three business ideas that you can build using Glide. There are many other ones as well. Please let us know in the comment section below. And as we said, definitely have a look at the complete guide to Glide apps because we go through various ways to use the, the Glide app to build different apps and things like build a marketplace like Craigslist, build a matching dating app like Tinder, a paid membership recipe app in Glide. And then we also just go through the setup of this, the fundamentals of getting started with Glide. So definitely check out the link in the description for that. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Take a look at some of the other videos we made about business ideas, case studies, and also how to use no-code tools such as Clyde. Okay, thanks again for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.